Ho ho ho! Welcome back to another video. Here's what's coming up today. Why are that? Why up? Fake it, sir. Just his feet. Failing, he failed. And we have enough money to keep us going for the year. There were better times. I wouldn't be meant for the modern technology to like this, but there's no bother to do this. You just pass the one, inject them, and then press the yellow button. Now they go. Off they go. Trying to lift the 80kg crystal X up on the quad now. <laughs> what have you done, boys? The hell with you, Joe. I will not send so simple. I hope you were all good boys and girls. I was talking to Santa, and he said he will be coming. First job today, to drive these lamps to the mountain. They're all trained to eat, and we put out lick buckets, maybe they lick them, we'll put them out in the mountain or from. So yeah, we're ready to take them up the mountain now. They're all eating meals with trucks Don't in care. all the pins. Um, the last few weeks inside here, and they've licked buckets, so they're well used to it all now. And they'll be ready to go now soon. He's just marking them up here. Remarking the lambs now, they'll be going away now to the forestry for a few months. To where we'll be able to see them again to get them out of them, but a fresh mark in them. Would you consider yourself an artist with the brush? I am well used to it now. Explain to people why you mark sheep. To know your own sheep if they join with any other ones. With the neighbours? Yeah. To identify them. They will have their own different type of mark. So is it, is it two lines or marks since you can remember? Two rows, two straight red strokes. One up near the neck, another a bit back from it. The middle of the back. So they're all eating the meal now you're, and licking the lick bucket, so... We think they are. The mule oil lamps here now, we're, we're injecting them now with Ivermec for worms and parasites and they'll be going away down to a rough hill. How we leave them there for the winter. So they're with the ram now, the Beltex ram. He's there in the middle. Uh. Whether they're in lamb now or not, most of them are tipped. They have the red rattle on. So we'll run them into the tapari now. We're going to give them I've make under the skin. I think the sheep and things like that and hand them can be had on the back. But there's no problem with this. We'll just pat the wool, put it in, inject it, press the button, they're gone. The next one is coming on in. She's held. On to her again, the same thing, pat the wool. Check the lamb, press the button, she's gone. Next one is in. Are you trying to say any, any, any old farmer could do it even? They could, any it, old man could do it. Especially you, he, he, you're not up to technology at all. I wouldn't be up to the modern technology at all. But I can, I can do this. So you, you see the speed they're going through at there now. And it's catching them no problem at all. So the, your lambs. They're all, they're all well over the 50 kgs, these mule lambs. So, these are going on the rougher ground now. I wouldn't be meant for the modern technology at all like this, but there's no bother to do this. You just pat the one, inject them, and then press the yellow button. Now they go. Off they go. So, you, do you reckon I've make us a good injection? She's is good enough, yeah. It's there a long time, reliable. Well, is it good for clearing up worms as well? It is. Drying them up. Ticks, lice and all that crack? Yeah. Give us about Christmas or anything. Well, uh, I say Stephen's Day which be the big day for us. We should be looking forward to it from one Stephen's Day to the next. Going out in the ran. I used to go out with my old friend Pacho Crimmin. And we used to cycle around the upcomer lawn and all parts of Kilgarvan. And there used to be a lot of people home that time for Christmas. And we just come home with a load of money. I remember well counting the money in Crimmins house, old house, up on the windowsill. And we divided between the two of us. And we'd have enough money to keep us going for the year. Plenty money? It was savage money. We couldn't ever, spend it. Would you sing a song? What would you well, sing? we'd only say the rain, the ran, the king of all birds. Stephen's day, he was cutting the furs. And, uh, would, you, would you ever get hunted from a house? No. That time, people were more... They'd let you in if you went out, now they'd, they'd nearly lock the door on you. There's no people doing the rent hardly anymore? There's hardly nobody now, yeah. There were better times. We'd cycle along the road to the for outhouses, and we'd often get tea and biscuits. And money didn't happen? Money as well. It would be a, a miracle. And would you 
Could you dress up or something? No, no, no we'd only have a little bush and two boys. Holly bush. Holly bush, yeah. Was there ever a year of really bad snow? There's no snow this year. There was one year. There was very bad snow and it wasn't the snow. It was bad at all, but the wind. And the wind blew the snow into hollows. The drift? Yeah, and a lot of sheep, they got caught. They went into the hollows for shelter and it blew it in over them. And one year there was sheep were lost. And if you went out the mountain, you might see their breath. There'd be a hole in the snow and you might be able to clear it. They'd be so far under the snow? They'd be way under it. Someone might eat the wool off each other to keep alive. And would you give them anything to feed now? We'd free them out and get them out of it because the, the ground outside the drifts might be all right. It just blew the snow into hollows. So you were trying to say snow is bad news for farmers? It is. Snow is the worst lead. It blows it against fences and breaks the fences as well. High up especially. High on mountains. Did Santa come to her? Well, he wasn't bring us very much. He was come, I suppose, all right. One time Santa came to me and he brought, all he brought was handcuffs. So well, I thought they were great. So the following day, I put the handcuffs on me and I locked them. And I went away out in the fields doing something. I walk around playing with a ball and I lost the key and I couldn't take off the handcuffs anymore. <laughs> they, had to get, they had to get a saw to cut the handcuffs off so they were no more good. So that was my Christmas present gone. What year was that? Well, that must be away the, the, the late 50s. Fifties, nineteen fifties. So I'm here now as well today in sunny West Cork in Inchidani Beach. So there'll be a few quieter days over the Christmas. And if anyone has any questions regarding the farm, either for myself or the father, put it in the comments below. And we'll have a few quieter days there around Christmas Day and stuff. And we might do a video of any any people's questions and we'll answer them. So if you have anything, pop them in the comments below, and I'll answer them in the next video or two. So thanks a lot. He bought the easy old lambs above and bell and robe off David Prendergast and they're fine lambs. They are fine, good, strong lambs, so hopefully <laughs> they'll do well now. Um, springtime now and hopefully they'll be in lamb. They've thrived since they came. So they're all injected they arrived make now and dust over the last few weeks. They're going down out to rougher ground. Is that foot betting? Oh we must go foot bet him actually, you're right, yeah. We must foot bet him now first in the uh, farm lane above. So that's the next job before they go down. Pa, come on. So they're going half up now for a foot bat now first. Hi. Hey, all right. Yup. So they're they're in great condition now going, so it's a helping eh? We're bringing these lambs now to run through the foot bat before we lay them off. They just walk through it, that we do for the farm lane. Do you think farming is good stuff? No, yeah, alright. It's pure poison, eh? That's all, you know. How long have you been foot betting sheep since? When did that come in, roughly? Oh, I'd say about 12 or 13 years. And what did you do before that? We used to try and have a sauce for any lame sheep and put her leg into it. Into what? Blue snores, me? Or a family, I suppose. And would they come right after, eh? I suppose some would. There wasn't as much lame just at him. I was trying to say they're softer now. They weren't, they weren't in the fields as much. There was cold in the fields. If the sheep broke the hill, they wouldn't be lame half as much. No, so. if, there was, uh, if there was rocks and stones. Hardy there, ground. Well, they'd clean their legs. So we're putting them through farm lane. So they're just walking through it there now. And there's a few lame lambs in them. So we're going to take them out and keep them down till they're better. Because when we're feeding them for the winter there, they're only spreading any lameness or foot rot or whatever it is. So, a good indication of lameless too is putting through farm lane, and you'll see them lifting their legs um, if if they've some foot foot problem there. So we, we usually catch them and see how bad they are. If it's only scald or whatever, um, we lay them way off. But if they've some form of foot rot or anything, we'll uh, keep keep them down here until they're good. Or else, if they're really bad, we, we'll sell them. So. We're, we're culling a lot of the lame lambs and lame yaws now the last few years and it seems to be working for us. So, um, so yeah. Most of the lambs now this year are either kind of Chevy, Chevy Texel and a lot of mules. So a lot of the speckle face ones there are mules. So in fairness, they're in super condition now going off, going off to the hill and we'll be feeding them over the winter. Um, so we want them to, 
to turn into good strong hoggets. So usually most of them come in lamb the first year, whereas if we weren't feeding them compared to other years, half of them probably wouldn't be in lamb. So if you feed them well, get their condition and weights up, they'll take care of you, take care of themselves the next year then, because most of them should be in lamb. Going for the I'm here now, and I'm just going for the water to clear the sheep out of the way. We drive them up. Not them, it's mix. Mix. So once they're foot battered, we leave them on a concrete surface here for a good half an hour at least. So I'm just going to go through now and pick out some of the lame lambs and they're going to be kept down. And my father, like he said, he's gone up the mountain there cleaning all, clearing all the roadways. Um, so the sheep don't mix. You can see some of them coming over the brow of the hill there now. He's hunting with the dogs. So we have a good long walk now with these. So, um, so yeah, off to the mountain they're going. So off into the forestry they're going now, there's 125 acres here and that's where we feed them over the Christmas. As you saw from the drone there, it's a pretty big area and grand shelter spot for the winter and it's a great place to feed them. So I'm just home from the local co-op there in Khmer and I've got some 80kg crystal lick buckets. So the advantage of these, obviously they're, they're a good bit heavier, they're, three, they're over three and a half times the size of the ordinary buckets. So we'll be go carrying these out to the tops of the mountain now over the winter time and leave them out there and they'll last obviously a lot longer than the smaller ones so we won't, be, we won't have to be going up there as regular. I suppose people are asking me as well about lick buckets. We've gone through a lot of different lick buckets over I suppose the last 20 years or whatever and it was my father's choice about crystal lakes. He came to the conclusion and we've, we've both agreed on it that they're definitely the best. The sheep love them, but they also last very long. Some of the buckets there, the sheep can literally nearly eat it. And sure, that's no good. You replace them every day and they're too costly. And then there's other cheaper ones that that's there and the sheep won't even lick them. Whatever bad ingredients is in them. But we tried them all now over the last few years and Chris Lakes definitely comes out on top of there. So that's what we'll be giving the yours now over the winter. So we've, we've a good few buckets got, um, smaller ones as well. Um, for the close hills, but we've got some big ones here now for the Faraway Mountains, so they're a great job. Trying to lift the 80 kg crystal lakes up on the quad now. Will you be able? 80 kg is. 80 kg, this is heavy enough. Times and a half, my way. It's heavy enough. Right, heave it up. Jesus Christ, heave it up. Heave it up, Ned. Oh up. my god, the way. Heave it up on the top of it. No, sir. You break the quad. So, they're 80 kgs, these now, so. They'll obviously last a lot longer. The ordinary Crystal Lake slick buckets that are above there now, they're 22.5 kgs roughly. So the mute is, we'll put this out now for the mule lambs until last uh, a long time. Is that my glove? Is that the taking your glove? Is that my glove? Is that your glove? <laughs> so the next job, what we're doing is we're selling the gator here, the John Deere gator. Um, it's going up to a tillage man above um, near Cork City. So I'm just hoping here now, I, I think it's barely gonna fit into the, the trailer here, the box. So we'll drive it in there now and see will we, will we get rid of it. Are you gonna miss the gator? I won't because it's not fit for all grounds, it's too high and too wet. It's too, only fit for the good land. It's too dangerous ground here, you reckon? The ground is too high. And very high ground and very wet in the water. Bad roads up onto the old grass. Till suit the tillage man saw in Karkula. Idea for that some river stick in near in near the city that's near the city, isn't it? I must think I went there on the sports one time. Yeah, it's in there and he's a tillage farmer, so. Now that He's trying to drive it in now, oh, we don't know will it fit to the bear with of it. 
Die Gäu an, hopp. Die Gäu an, hopp. Tornfit. Die fehlt und lässt zu ihr Loch. Ich habe die von zwei Loch noch. Ich soll ihn gehen. Wird mir heute noch. Ich will. 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 Hop, hop, hop. The back is slightly down. We nearly have it in now. It's the exact bare width, as you can see here. We've nothing to play with, only about a couple of mil. So, we need to pull it up here now because I have to slide it down. We need to pull it up there to quad because we can't, we actually can push it up. We try to push it up. Drive it up there now slowly. Slowly. Come on. Oh, whoa, 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 that's it. That's it. Half of that long last, the length of an inch. Despair. She's there in much despair. Never again come on. That's exactly into the of it as well. <laughs> Can we take it off and put it on again? Right, right so heading off the river stick now. Drive you up now and delivering the gator up to Cork. So, uh, this is the last time we'll have it here now on the farm, so we'll be getting a quad now instead of it because uh, the gator, the gator is not that good for the mountain and um, it's, only, it's only really for the good land, it doesn't go really, wet, too well in soft ground, so that's why we're getting rid of it and yeah, we're going for another quad instead. So we're nearly here now, we're not far from Kinsale, you can see now the land is a lot better around here now. So yeah, the land is a lot better around here. Good tillage, good tillage ground here now in fairness. And the gator will be well suited to it. And any time I come to Cork, the sun is always shining. We get hit hard with rain in Kerry. And I'd say it's with all the mountains. We're nearly here now, so the gator will be going off. So the block layers are nearly finished now. So the first level here, the ground floor, um, is nearly complete. We're just waiting for a, a, steel, a steel beam here to go. There's a round arch, so that was a bit slower to get made. So other than that, the block laying downstairs stairs is finished. There'll be a fireplace inside here now, this will be like a living room. So when guests comes or whatever, whatever it's used for. Um, this is the main hallway here, there'll be stairs running up there. So stairs here, curved timber stairs all the way around to the first floor. Um, this is the main living area then, so the kitchen is going to be down there, there's going to be an island there, roughly where the blocks are, and probably probably seating down here with a TV on that wall, and it's going to be like a sunroom. Um, it'll probably be a kid's playroom for a while, but um, yeah, it's a good size, and there's going to be plenty lighting here, so there's going to be some uh, similar windows here, going across here, um, so we're going for sliding sash windows. Uh, obviously with PVC, but they should look. We've a big, we've a bigger window here. We've a pantry here, off the kitchen. Another access here now. That's the back door. Um, bathroom here downstairs with a shower and whatever toilet sink. This is we just made this especially to hide away all the pipes. So for the underfloor heating, all that. So that's going to be hidden away. It's going to be the utility. So yeah, so there's going to be little hallways here. So there's going to be good lighting from front door to back door. So yeah, fairly happy with it. So the Duke on Slab is going to be coming in the middle of January or towards the end of it. That's what's going to delay us now and hopefully we'll get the rest of the block work done by end of February. Hopefully, it, but fairly happy with progress so far. And yeah, just looking forward to getting done now. This arch is after landing. That arch going straight over that door. Who lifted in? No. So there's a bit of work in there. That's it for another video. 
We'll see you for the next one and have a great Christmas. What have you done, boys? To hell with YouTube. Why bring that sense or something?